clearing misunderstood terms. Look up the term in a good dictionary, encyclopedia, technical manual, or original source where you can find a good definition. Scan through the definitions until you find the exact definition that applies in the context where the term is used. Make up several original sentences using the term in the exact definition found in the original context. If the definition includes other terms that are misunderstood, look those up too until you are absolutely clear on the definitions of all terms. Now let's go through a demonstration of how to clear a misunderstood term. Using this same screen that we were looking at a minute ago, let's say I want to look up the term up. I don't know what it means there. Can I quote the definition? Look up. Well, mm, kind of vague, isn't it? So let's use the writing tools. Look up in dictionary. The word up. And what does it mean in this context? Toward the sky or a higher position? I don't think so. To the place where someone is? Well, no. At or to a higher level of intensity, volume, or activity? Maybe. Into the desired or a proper condition? Ah, that sounds pretty good. Let's just look at the other ones to make sure. Into a happy mood? No. Displayed on a bulletin board or other? No. Of sailing against the current or the wind? Baseball. At bat? Uh, from a lower or higher to a higher point? No. It's definitely an adverb because it's in conjunction with the word look, which is a verb. So we're going to look into the desired or proper condition, the term. Okay? Look up the term. Uh, here's an original sentence. Fill up the tank with gas. Um, beam me up, Scotty. That's not very original. But uh, that'll do to show how we make up a sentence. And are there any other terms in this definition that are misunderstood? Well, I'm sure we could find some. <laughs> but not right now. So that's it. That's how you look up a misunderstood term.